Hi and welcome to another episode on Land Rover Drive. This time I'm going to deliver my tires because I finally made my choice on tires. You're gonna see that later in this episode. But today I'm going to deliver the tires to get the, the old wheels and get the tires off the rims so I can uh, take them home, do a, just check them if they are okay and then do hopefully you can uh, refurbish them a bit before I get the new tires on. So yeah. Let's go and deliver the tires. Det er tatt et skrad og sånne ting, det må se at det er rust eller korrosjon. Ja, det skjer ofte det, men hvis det er korrosjon så bakken slapper jeg og lærte det. Ja, jeg så noen var på kanten bare ytterst. Nei, da bruker jeg bare å spenne dem opp her, så slipper jeg med nabbsliper. Da kjører jeg den rundt på maten, så slipper jeg det. Ja, så hvis jeg skal gjøre det selv, så er det bare å pusse lett over. Pusse lett over. Bakker han hvis du vil, eller? Ja. Suverent. Da, igjen. Vær så god. Takk for det, da. Ha det bra. Ja, ha det. Now tires are off the old rims and let's, uh, let's see if we can inspect them. These are five. So both all of these used. You can see some are kind of just to see the paint are, are coming off. So next up is uh, cleaning off the rims and then uh, try and refurbish them as best as I can before the tires come. And I think it's only two or three days. So I'm going to have new tires on the rims this week hopefully on the car so uh, yeah it's been a long time coming and I can't wait to get them home and then to show you which tires I have gone for so uh, very exciting uh, tires I've been looking at tires for a year I think at least so uh, yeah, this has been a big decision for me because I know I don't have can afford buying multiple sets so I know if I buy the, the sets that I buy now, I have to have for like five years at least. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's been struggling with the decision. But I think this is the, I think this is maybe the best option for uh, for my use, overlanding, and also the conditions in Norway where it can suddenly get cold and uh, change. So yeah. Did I? Jeg må åpne her. Så min mann kan ikke tro at jeg har ordnet tøyer. Det har vært en år? Jeg vet ikke, det har vært en livstid, jeg tror. Ja, en livstid. Så det er tid å celebre. Ikke tøyer, men min evnene til å tøyer. Come to a conclusion and actually take a choice. Make a choice. Take a choice. Make a choice. Come in. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. 
Score. Party. Fruity. Mm. Yum yum. Hello. <laughs> Det är också stort. Ja, så det kommer här i uka. Så tires are coming this week, hopefully. Så ja, it's gonna be a big day. Cheers. See ya. So I'm back in the garage, I got the text today, the wheels have arrived, or the tires has arrived. Uh, I need to do some work on the wheels or rims if you like. Uh, uh, need to clean them and then uh, do some sanding on the edges. And then I will see if I'm going to sand it down and then paint it. But I don't think I have the time because I want to put the wheels on tomorrow and yeah. So basically today it's going to be all about getting cleaning off, inspecting them for cracks and everything and then just uh, sanding down the, the wheel, the edges, what's it called, the beads, sanding down the beads, making sure I'm going to get a good fit with the new, new wheels, uh, new tires, so that they are uh, not going to leak. So yeah, let's get to work. So I just uh, use some uh, cold degrees or regular degrees. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do too much, but I'm gonna test it out, and then I got some extra like acid-based uh, degreasers. So I'm gonna do that afterwards. But uh, so let the degreaser work for a while, and now I'm just gonna use the pore washer, and I'm just gonna try and take as much off as I can, which is loose, uh, even the the lacquer, which is loose. Uh, so hopefully, pore washer will work fine. Okay, so I've been at it for uh, I think half an hour, 45 minutes. Their wheels are looking, they're worse than I thought, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure how bad it is because I actually don't know. But uh, I saw on this wheel, you can see the paint is starting to come off. So basically, I think you get some spitting on the outside and then uh, water and salt in the winter comes in and then it just starts to grow. Okay, so I got them back in the garage, uh, still wet, but I'm gonna do, uh, try and do, use the wire brush. There are some places I don't really like, but I'm gonna go quick over with the wire brush just to, to get to see how bad it actually is. Uh, and if, how easy I can get it out and, uh, and or smooth it out. So if it's, if it's easy, I'm gonna continue and then, uh, then we will see how it goes. So uh, yeah, wire brush first. Nej, det är fint! Kul fint! Jag my lovely family coming home. Okej, 
Okay, so just wiping down the, the wheels, getting off the water. Let's see. That's way. Okay, so uh, I just used the wire brush uh, slightly to check. Let's see. Get some better view. Uh, see, I used the wire brush here uh, first, and then I felt the pivoting was too too much. The, the the difference between the paint and the uh, aluminium is, is too high. So that's going to be uh, the recipe for a leak. Uh, so I went over with 500 grit uh, sandpaper and that's doing the job. So that's what I need to do on all the places like you see here. So I need to go over each wheel and do get all of this off so I can, uh, I can get a smooth finish. Um, so it's gonna be the rest of the evening, I guess. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna start on the on the front and start painting those. I will have to do that afterwards after I get the the, the tires on. But so for now, it's just gonna get the the beads uh, looking good, so I can get the tires on, and it's gonna be a good uh, clean uh, uh, and good seal between the tire and the and the wheel. So yeah. A lot of work to do. Luckily, my wife uh, and my kids brought home some uh, cinnamon buns, so they're just gonna make coffee for me, so I can just continue on sugar high and a coffee high, and uh, hopefully get it done for tomorrow. Okay, so time for a little update. It's almost uh, ten thirty in the in the evening, and uh, yeah, so uh, I've been working on the beads and. Uh, Especially this one, you see, or all bare metal, because all of the the pitting in the needed to go. So uh, there's still some small ones, but this now is really smooth. So I think it's going to be a good seal. But I need to get some primer on it and then some wheel paint to seal it up because you don't want to bear bare aluminum when the winter comes. So basically I haven't done anything else, nothing uh, on the on the surface yet. So as you see there's a lot of job a lot a lot of work to do so I've been almost five and a half hours straight now uh, with the uh, washing and also with the sanding of the of the bits. But uh, now I'm pretty confident I could have gone tomorrow and just put tires on and it would have sealed well but uh, I think I need to put on some paint just to, to make it even even better so it don't uh, start corroding even more. So that's for, for today, let's uh, pick it up tomorrow and see how far I get tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I can have the tires on on Friday um, and then maybe do the uh, paint the wheels uh, with the tires on uh, or maybe I will spend the weekend I will I will figure that out but yeah a lot of work I thought it, I started with washing the wheels and I thought oh this is gonna be a lot of work and yeah it's a lot of work and uh, it would be better to just get them sandblasted and painted like uh, I think price contra the time is, is worth it so but now i'm so far into the project i i cannot give up so that's uh yeah need to get uh, get them done so see you tomorrow okay so back in the garage after a day at work uh, so i finished up yesterday just going over all the beads and uh yeah i think most of them are uh, pretty okay, so uh, uh, I'm gonna sand them down a bit more when I after I put the primer on. Uh, also, this, this thinking about uh, what I should do on the front, so uh, I decided just to go ahead, take off, uh, take all the rough parts, sand it a bit down, and then add the primer, add the paint. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be an overland and off-road car, so yeah, it doesn't have to be super shiny. So I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna try and and uh, make this a learning experience with uh, working with paint, and yeah, I can always take them off again and go and get them sandblasted and then get someone else to paint them. So yeah, 
trial and error. So do it yourself, uh, paint job off the wheels and uh, see, uh, see, let's see how it goes. supposed to start painting yesterday but uh, uh, my dad needed help with uh, removing a window and also uh, putting in a new door so uh, that was all yesterday and also my brother's wife had her birthday yesterday so we were, went there so really nice uh, but yeah today I'm going to paint as you can see I put up the just with string so just uh, hanging the rims by by the center because it doesn't matter if I get paint on on here. I'm just gonna paint the edges and also uh, the fronts and let's see if I will look how much paint I have if I'm going to paint the back. But I I don't really care about the back. I care about the the uh, care about the fronts and also the the edges where the 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 wheel is gonna mount. So I want to get smooth edges so it's uh, it's going to hold the air in the bead yeah smooth beads um need a solution for that wheel I think I'm just going to put up another another beam over there and then I can just put it down here but first discovery need to get out of the garage I drove it in yesterday because when I was starting it this uh, I can show you I got the engine uh, Ancient fault. <laughs> okay, so that uh, that's isn't good. Uh, I think it's just low on power, but we will uh, see. Uh, but I think it's just power. So uh, it has been charging for about 24 hours, and it seems to be fully charged. So I'm just gonna take it off, and then we can see when I start it up if I get engine fault or if it just was a lack of power. Because you can you can notice it's getting a lack of power when. Uh, when the the car starts uh, putting out faults when you start it in the in the morning or when it's cold so uh yeah let's start up drive the side and then we can finally start on painting noob starts really nice so uh yeah it's really sensitive to uh, the power or the voltage on the battery, so it needs uh, it needs a good charge. I need to air out a bit. Uh, starting a 2.7 liter diesel uh, in the garage. Uh, yeah, cold start. Smells a bit, and uh, yeah, need to get it out. I. Uh, we got the, the heater on so to keep the heat up in the garage so it's about I think it's about 20 degrees in here so it's gonna be a good temperature for painting I also want to heat up the paint a bit but it seems to be in good a good temperature on them the, the paint works better if it there is if it's uh, at a higher temperature uh, not super high <laughs> but uh, and also the pressure inside the, the can is will be higher if the liquid inside is, is higher so uh, yeah you get a better spray uh, if it's warmer basically so this is a primer is uh, from a regular like uh, a hardware store uh, here in Norway and also Sweden Biltema 
Uh, so it's an aluminum primer, uh, and yeah, uh, I noticed the paint. Uh, it says re wheel paints, also from Biltema. Uh, has been standing up here in the room, but the primer has been standing in the bag on the floor, so it, it was actually pretty cold. So um, I'm just gonna warm it up uh, while I make the, the fifth wheel uh, ready for paint. And also keeping with the coffee warm for uh, for a little coffee break, yeah. But uh, yeah, clean up and then just fix the fifth wheel. Okay, ready to start. Gonna we'll start with uh, cleaning off the rims first and then uh, primer afterwards. Just use the rag and paint thinner. This is just for uh, uh, from cleaning the, the the beads, the edges on the rim. So I don't know if I have been doing a <laughs> a good job cleaning, but uh, I can see the importance of doing uh, so extra clean before paint with uh, the paint thinner. Mask up the, the hub, uh, hub point and then uh, start the uh, priming. Okay, here we go, primer. So don't want to be in there without my mask on, but yeah, le just lay the the primer on the on the wheels. My wife made waffles, so went inside to take a coffee break with the Norwegian waffles. I had a problem with one of the cans. It was starting to the paint started to like uh, uh, spray droplets. So, but I think I managed. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but uh, it's going to be okay. So now it's time for paint. And I think two, two or three layers and it's going to be good. Yellow.
Okay, so I have painted uh, the rims. This is the first time I ever painted the rims without using rubber paint. So as you can see on the, on the old wheels, this is actually rubber paint. So it's black rubber paint that I've used and uh, it's been on for five years, I think. So it's not bad for, for being rubber paint. And uh, yeah, this time is the first time I have ever painted wheels with the proper paint. I think it turned out pretty well. I want it to be in the same style as the, as the plastic on the car, which is kind of, uh, of matte. Um, yeah, a matte finish. I only bought like four boxes of, uh, of paint. I thought it was going to be enough and it was enough for the fronts. But you see, you see on this one, turn it around. You see, I have uh, saved on the, on the back part. All the beads are painted properly. So the tires can go on and also the fronts are painted properly. So all I need to do is just go over in the, in the back of the rims uh, and maybe touch up some if there are some places which I have forgotten. Okay, so was it worth it to paint them myself? Well, probably should have just get them sandblasted and then painted and they will last probably as long as the car, but uh, we will see if it was worth it at the, yeah, after uh, a couple of seasons, maybe it's gonna hold that long. We will see, we will see. But uh, it's basically cheap, get old, old rims and then just uh, uh, just uh, use some sandpaper, rough them down and then uh, paint them and uh, yeah. So they look pretty good. So I I if it holds, then it's, uh, it's good enough. But the most important thing about me painting the wheels is getting the beads super smooth and uh, so it's gonna be tight so I can go on a trip without worrying about uh, our leaks. But uh, now finally got five set of rims and five set of um, of tires, same size, same type. And it's gonna be awesome just to get the discovery ready with the new tire. So coming up this week. So uh, if you want to see the tires, be sure to check out the, the video, which is gonna be up here when it's it's done. So uh, thank you for watching this one, painting my wheels, and uh, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, and subscribe so uh, if you haven't yet, and uh, like and. Check out Patreon if you want to see more videos from uh, from the garage, on the Discovery, Land Rovers, overlanding in Norway, and other stuff. Please go over to Patreon and uh, help me out so I can make more videos. See ya.